Today we're going to learn the letter Ha. This letter is more complex than the previous ones we've learned. The good news is, once you learn the letter Ha, you actually have learned three letters. The Jim, the Ha, and the Ha all share the same base shape. The only difference is two of them have a nukta. To help explain this letter better, I'm going to use some, uh, some graphics from the PDFs that I'm working on. Those will be available for you to download. I'll have the links down below. If I'm not ready with the PDFs yet by the time you watch this video, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to expedite the ones for this lesson so you can get those. The letter Ha is broken down into a few strokes. The top of it is five nuktas wide. So across the top we have a width of five nuktas. And if we draw a horizontal line across the top, that will reference the highest point on the ha, which makes contact over here, at one spot over here. The top edge actually comes down a little bit over to the right, and the left edge comes up to make contact at that point. So we just have this high point, and then both sides slope. There's also a small detail stroke here that curves around this has a little bit of an S-curve to it. It adds a nice detail on that starting edge of the ha. Position your pen at about 70 degrees, 70 or 60 or 70 degrees, possibly maybe aiming at the second nukta, and do a small S-curve shape to start the letter ha. This edge extends outside. If you draw a vertical line here, you'll notice the point here actually extends beyond that. Then from here we're going to go up at an angle to make contact with this point one nukta over. From here we'll sweep down into a curve ending at this point here with the pen again at about 60 to 70 degrees. So come around That completes the top portion. Now the downward strokes begin. We'll look at the upper half. Measuring from this bottom edge, we have a total height of six nuktas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and that will be the that will make contact with our bottom stroke. Three nuktas down to the middle of this is where we intersect on the left edge. This left edge, as the pen comes around to this left edge, it becomes vertical at, at this point. Tan so it's tangent to this line and vertical. And that is our original line from the start of the five nuktas up here. So this edge actually protrudes beyond this. Okay, so a common mistake is when you're, when you're making the ha, you end up swinging out too far. So it's almost lining up with this, and technically this edge sticks out a little bit beyond this one. Okay, so... Okay, one more detail. So in the middle, of this, so this is five nuktas across, right at the midpoint, two and a half nuktas over, is where this overlapping stroke exits this previous stroke, and then you finally start to see some white on this left side. So I'll show you what I mean. So coming here, we're pretty much in a straight, pretty much in a straight movement to right there. Now our top edge of our pen is about to exit the overlapping stroke. As you exit, do a smooth curve around and at the same time straighten out your pen so it meets here pretty much at a vertical. I like to think of it as a, a really nice number seven shape. I like this shape that it creates. Okay. From here we're repeating this upper curve but a little deeper. You'll notice the distance, 
if you were to draw a diagonal from this point to the center point, you can fit in one nukta. On the bottom, you'll be able to fit in about a nukta and a half. So these two curves don't exactly match up. It doesn't make a circle. It's slightly different, the top and the bottom. Like I said, the, the ha is a bit more challenging. So come around. And then at this point, your pen is vertical. So this is your widest stroke down at the base. You're going to now lift this edge of the pen up and continue just with the top edge for an additional nukta and a half to create this, this extended tapered finish. Again, this letter is a bit more challenging. I'm still practicing and continuously making mistakes on this, but with every iteration, you get a little more comfortable and it starts to become a little more natural. So let's go ahead and try again. Starting at about this angle, come around, S-curve beyond this line, come up one nukta in a straight move, Gently curve this down and end this leading tip in line with this front edge. Now from here, remember, two and a half nuktas over, right to the midpoint here, is where the stroke, which is pretty much straight, exits the overlap and then it curves around. So come to here, exit the overlap, and try to make that tangent. There's that nice number seven. And then from here, come around, continue the top edge, and then finish that extended tip. So here, depending on how you measure, you can think of it as a nukta and a half past these line of nuktas, or if you want to measure from this vertical edge, you can actually think of it as two whole nuktas, this one and this one. Either way, some people measure it as two, sometimes you're referring it to as one and a half, as long as you get the idea. Okay, so we'll try on the worksheet. The third, if you print this PDF out, it becomes gradually more difficult because you have less supporting outline for the letter to work off of. So this one, you're pretty much on your own on this third one. Aim for that. Extend past. Go up. Now for two and a half, knock those over. There. And now, one, two, three, nuktas down. That's our center point. And remember, we're in from that edge. So from here, curve around. Make that number seven shape. And then here, deeper curve around, going for that point. Continue on and finish. And then these are easier again, so you get another chance to practice. Come up, sweep down, pretty much straight. The stroke exits, becomes tangent from here. Drop down and come around to this point. Lift the bottom edge and complete that stroke. Seems so much easier when you're following the outline. 
exit that left edge, come up, sweep down, and right there. From here, make that seven shape. From the seven shape, continue down to this point. And from here, the top edge, taper and close. Once again, up, cross, exit, make that seven. From the seven, down, close that shape. So this shape of the letter Ha is just one of the, the shapes you're going to see when you're writing in the Thalut style. There's actually a second shape where the Ha curves back up. It's a little more stylized and curves back up. And then there are connecting forms of this letter. We'll get into those forms in, in future lessons. Right now, I encourage you to keep practicing one until you become really comfortable, then add additional forms when you're ready. When you're done practicing using the PDF worksheet, you can practice using just plain paper. Start by first laying down the five nuktas across the top. So two, three, four, five. Establish a horizontal reference and a vertical reference on both sides. Begin aiming kind of at that angle in an S shape, going past that edge, and then you're aiming for this point here, one nukta over. From here, go up. From here, you're going to swing down, ending with the leading edge touching that line. But you're going to kind of sweep down a little bit. Then remember, two and a half nuktas over is where you exit the overlapping stroke and come down, leaving about one nukta on this side, coming to this direction. From this, we measure down one, two, three, four, five, six nuktas, and that will be our bottom, the top of our bottom stroke, right in the middle. This is our intersection point. So starting here, come over pretty much straight line, exit, create that tangent number seven shape. From here, continue downward, come around, aiming for that point. And from here, you're continuing on one and a half nukta. So I'm a little tight on my sheet here, but continue just the top edge and finish that. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, across the top, that'll be your horizontal, two vertical references, aiming at that angle, S-curve, Going up one nukta, curve around, stop there. To the midpoint, one nukta down. From this point, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and then one and a half. Starting here, exit, make your number seven. I missed my uh, center point reference. Continue down and come around and continue just the top edge. Finish. One, two, three, four, five. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm using the six millimeter wide tip and the PDFs I'm referring to earlier, you can download. They assume they are currently sized for six millimeters. I'll try to add more later. Start here, come around, exit the left edge, go up, come around, stop. Exiting at that point, Coming down one nukta here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and a half. Exit that curve. Once again, I keep forgetting to put my midpoint reference for you. sometimes you mess up your height and that's okay that's why we're practicing so I went too I went a little too high on that I didn't curve this down enough and you can see it looks a little squished And now I overcompensate. Once again, I overshot on the height.
As you practice the letter Ha, turning it into a Jim or a Ha is extremely simple. The Jim simply has the Nukta on the inside, and now you've turned it into a Jim, and the Ha simply has the Nukta above it. So this letter does require a lot of practice. The good news is you will have three letters mastered by the time you're done. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, maybe spend 10 minutes practicing, 10-15 minutes a day practicing your letters, the ones you've learned. We learned Aleph. Should be seven noktas tall. Three, four, five, six, seven. Comes down slightly to the right and curves back to the left to complete the bottom. Then we practice the letter ba, ta, tha. Those we start up here. Other than practicing the letters, I like to practice some words. The word I'm going to choose today makes use of the ha in the asmal husna and it is al fatah starting with alif three four five six seven this will be the height of the alif followed by the lam which we are going to practice soon which is same as alif this comes around and then at the bottom we will connect it to fa come up and do that connector we did last time for the ta and I will overlay the letter ha starting here come up go across al fatah which means the one who gives victory, the solver, the opener. I will try to work off the reference for shape. I'll go ahead and put nuktas on the first and then try to go without for further practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the alif. Dam connect to the fa And then for the ha, I will put down some nuktas again to help myself. Or actually, let's just go off the reference and see how it goes.
Try again, this time without the nuktas for the other. Ha. Once again, to wrap it up, we have one, two, three, four, five nuktas mm. in width. That establishes our top of the ha. Begin with a small downward a stroke, next is up, so 
sweeping down, aiming from this point, aiming down one, two, three, four, five, six nuktas. To this point, and the middle here. Remember, a little bit every day makes a huge difference over time. Be sure to keep practicing. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time. God bless.